now on my way to the entrance of the Annapurna National Park entrance. There is uh, from Cagbeni to Leti. This is the road on the way to Jamsung Mustang. An amazing road and also an amazing waterfall along with an amazing landslide. Oh, glory. I am on the road to Muktanath from Pokhara. It's an amazing road with amazing views. One of the most amazing things about it is there's this one bridge. It's a swinging bridge. It is one of the most highest bridges I'm ever going to be on. Now I'm afraid of heights. I wonder if I will be able to cross that. Come, let's go. We got here to the checkpoint, the Annapurna National Park. It's here that we found out they're telling us now we need to have a PCR test within seven days and also our vaccine card, which we brought neither. After a five hour drive, I have reached Leti. This here is Kalopani Guest House in Leti. It has some amazing views. This is known as the deepest valley in the world. It's situated between Annapurna and Dalagiri, two of the top 10 highest mountains in the world. Whew. Hard to breathe with a little higher altitude. This here is the village of Leti. Uh, we're staying here at Kalapani Guest House. We got here about 2.30 in the afternoon. And Leti is in one of the deepest, it is the deepest valley in the world. On one side we got have Dalag Dalagiri Mountain and on the other side is Annapurna Mountain. Two of the 10 highest peaks in the whole world. Wow, that's amazing.
This is the entrance to the village of Marfa. Notice the apple trees. Marfa is known for its apples. One of the cool towns along the way to Multanath is the village or town of Marfa. Marfa is located maybe an hour from Jamsung, an hour from Leti, between Leti and Jamsung, and it's known for its apples. Come, let's check it out. and I'm going to be tasting some Marfa apple juice, the world's best apple juice. So tasty. One bottle, 100 rupees. Just on the outskirts of the northern end of Jamsung, there's a tourist checkpoint and it's there that you must show your Annapurna Park Pass. We are almost in Kagbeni. bridge going across the valley here it's really windy because it's the afternoon the wind shoots up through this valley the morning because it's cooler there's not much wind but in the afternoon there's some pretty strong winds that flow through here Whoa. but it's beautiful God's creation Namaste. This is looking up into Upper Mustang, just north of Kagbeni. I am now in the village of Kagbeni. Kagbeni is just north of Jamsung, between Jamsung and Muktanath. And tonight, I will be staying at this hotel. It's called Yak Donald's. Whoa. What was that, Clinton? Wow, this apple pie is amazing. It th is so delicious. You think Leland will like that? No, I don't think he would. But it wouldn't be any left anyway till he gets here, so. Yeah, my point's exactly. <laughs>
Good, 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 good. Push. Lucky. This is the road going up to Muktanath from Kag Beni. It is an amazing road with amazing views. It's a little cloudy because of the low cloud cover. Uh, so we're hoping by this afternoon the wind will blow these clouds away and we'll get to see the tops of these amazing mountains. All right, folks, it's official. I'm literally one of these guys that travels hundreds of miles just to get a picture of them beside their motorcycle. Oh yeah, there are cool mountains here too. Uh, On the way up to Muktanath, we're passing many of these herds of sheep. The local people raise, it's a long-haired Himalayan, a uh, mountain goat type sheep very tasty meat so they say you also see the hills are covered with yaks beautiful <laughs> 